Guys, Roof Peace is here and it's the best thing ever. Ever. Hey, I'm DJ, aka Mushroom Man, and we have to talk about episode 1015. It's literally a 20 minute movie. Megumi Ishitani, you are amazing. I'm sure we're all aware about the unfortunate situation Toei went through, but they arose like a pineapple headed phoenix to deliver this banger. So, let's talk about One Piece episode 1015 Straw Hat Luffy the man who will become king of the pirates. You're darn right he will. Majority of this episode is the flashback between Yamato and Ace. Naturally, when you find this out, you'd go... But not this time. This is the steak before the dessert. The character movements, expressions, and transitions are so smooth, I just can't believe it's not put. This episode does a fantastic job of characterizing Ace and Yamato during their conversation. Ace tells Yamato about Luffy's dream to become King of the Pirates. Then we get this beautiful pastel flashback sequence of Sabo and Ace talking about their dreams for the high seas. Then the comparison of Luffy and Gold Roger saying how someday they'll be king of the pirates. All this being shown from Yamato's POV. Now normally in One Piece they just replay the same flashback over and over again to save time. Isn't that right, Rebecca from Dressrosa? To completely remake this flashback to show Yamato's desire for freedom on the high seas is incredibly heartfelt. That feeling it doesn't last long as Yamato learns that Ace has died thanks to the Vivri card burning away. At first, Yamato feels completely lost, re-accepting the fact that she'll never leave Wano and is trapped with her father. Although, she remembers the little rubber lad Ace talked about and makes a vow that she'll wait for the day when Luffy arrives to help save her and this country. Back to the present. One by one, members of the worst generation prepare to face the Yonko on the roof. Kid and Killer, Trafalgar D. Waterlaw, Roranora Zoro, and of course, the man who'll be king of the pirates. Monkey D. Luffy arrives to take down Kaido and Big Mom once and for all. The winners of this battle will be one step closer to finding the One Piece. Good, because this shit is getting way too long. Before they fight, Luffy notices something behind Kaido and Big Mom. Without a care in the world, Luffy busts out the biggest Chad move in anime history by walking past two of the most powerful pirates in the world. He finds Kinemon and the rest of the nine scabbards beaten to a bloody pulp, unable to face Odin in the afterlife as they feel they've let him down. Barely conscious, Kinemon asks Luffy to help carry the land of Wano on his back. Luffy immediately agrees to help his friend. Behind him, Kaido kills the vibe by trying to attack Luffy. Law then uses his bullshit powers to transport the scabbard somewhere safe. Then, as Luffy prepares to bonk Kaido, the instrumental version of We Are plays. Luffy recounts everything that's happened so far in Wano, and the Nine Scabbards' determination to save their country in the name of Odin. Luffy slams Kaido into the ground, damaging him for the first time this entire arc. He stares at the Yonko and simply repeats what he's been saying time and time again since episode 1. I'm Monkey D. Luffy, the man who'll become King of the Pirates to be continued. Unfortunately, next episode is a recap episode. So, One Piece fucking sucks again. But Roof Piece is finally here and I can barely describe my excitement for it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, the whole YouTube shebang, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.